and shifting focus to the Caribbean, where Haiti has been gripped by relentless violence for weeks now. Mass gang members armed with high-powered rifles, shotguns, and automatic weapons have become a common sight in the city's capital, Port-au-Prince, firing weapons, blocking major roads, and essentially holding the city hostage. The gangs have terrorized the Haitian people with no end in sight. In fact, the vast cachet of arms and weapons are so potent and diverse that it far surpasses that of the country's own police force. Now, ironically, Haiti does not produce any weapons. It has no firearms or ammunition manufacturing facilities or capability. So how are these gangs getting these deadly weapons? A UN report in January stated that guns and ammunition were being smuggled into Haiti by land, air, and mostly by sea from the United States and in particular from the state of Florida. The report said that the weapons are frequently procured through proxy purchases in the United States where gun laws are not as strict. And once procured, these firearms are transported to Florida where they are concealed and shipped to Haiti. The report adds illegal weapons are hidden in shipping containers carrying donations like toys and clothes, electronic equipment, frozen food items, or even in the hulls of the freighters themselves. The U.S. Homeland Security investigations also reported a surge in firearms trafficking from Florida to Haiti between 2021 and 2022. Now, last year, the U.S. State Department indicated it had plans to establish a new policing unit in Haiti to address weapons being trafficked into the country. Now, there is no exact number on how many trafficked arms are currently in Haiti, but the weapons are fueling the staggering surge in gang violence in Haiti, plunging the country further into chaos with each passing day. The escalation of violence has sparked an exodus from the capital city. When I heard the shots, I shot myself in a tent. If I'd gone outside, I would have died in the courtyard. There was a lot of shooting outside. I was making my bed with these bags and it was raining. On the bed, I felt a bullet hit my leg. I felt my flesh tear. I saw my blood lying there. The bullet is still inside. They did not take it out. If they had, I'd be disabled. At this very moment, heavily armed bandits are storming my shop. Oh Lord, please don't let them set fire to it. In any case, what's to stop them from getting into the national penitentiary? It's as if they were already there. We have no authorities, no leaders, we have no one, we have nothing. It's everyone for themselves. I can't even get to my home and I really want to go home. I want to leave since it's each person for themselves and we have no authority. I don't even know what to say. Now, it's been more than two weeks since the country's prime minister resigned, but the details of a presidential transition council have still not been revealed. And with no head of state and effectively no government, Haiti's people are trapped in yet another vicious cycle of violence powered by illegal guns.